All right, welcome back. It's quarter three, week three, day two, B. This is uh, how to build out a female chest in 3D Studio Max. So um, we're going to start out with the basic, same basic structure as we had before, but we're going to add a little more geometry so that we look uh, a little more larger in the chest area. <clears throat> The same basic concept applies, even if you're just making a larger chest for a larger person. Um, you're you're going to use the same geometry and sort of take these central four quads here and expand them out. Uh, we're going to inset them and expand them out. We're going to want to use the edges to sort of accentuate anatomical lines, just like we did in the belly. You, you're the breast, uh, especially the larger they are, is going to be very similar to this sort of roundness. You can see how gravity's pulling this weight uh, down. So there's going to need you're going to need more edges along the bottom to sort of get that curve, and then fewer edges along the top. All right. So uh, we are going to go ahead and start with this same concept. We're going to look at uh, expanding this out. Now, if you're uh, there's obviously two different aspects we need to worry about like more of a bikini style versus more of a uh, like a shirt on and since we will be dealing with a shirt we're going to be expanding out but we'll uh, we'll talk a little bit about that as well uh, so let's actually jump right into it all right so here's where we ended up last time all right so um, the concept here is that we want the geometry also to sort of smoothly transition through. and We want to make sure we keep quads. So one of the most important aspects of this section is that if we want to really make sure that this fits properly, we need to inset from here. So we're going to take that whole section and inset it. Uh, and we don't have to worry about exactly how much. It's, it's not that important right now. Under geometry, we're going to relax it some. And this is going to be the basis of our chest. All right, now, once again, you're, you'll have better concept art than me, uh, hopefully. Um, but ultimately, you're going to want to do that at least, no matter how large or small you're dealing with, um, you're going to want to make sure that you are doing the same concept. Because it's more about, I'll get the grid off by hitting G, it's more about setting the topology correctly. All right, I'm just going to grab all of these and smooth them out. I should just marquee select them. But anyway, I'm going to grab all those uh, vertices and I'm going to go to uh, geometry, relax, 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 and then see where we're at. Okay, well, soft selection isn't a bad option for this either. So that's still uh, a possibility. Also, don't feel like um, you're stuck in this particular, with this particular shape. We would need to make sure we're constantly thinking about topology. So we could, instead of having this um, sort of rounded out like this, uh, we can actually do some connection here and work on where our edges are going to be. Okay, and when I say that, what I mean is this uh, this edge this sort of face section should probably go ahead and curve on up and come back around. Um, that that would be pretty efficient, actually. We could add another uh, face in here, uh, connect these, and then bring this around. So it sort of goes from here up and around and back through. Um, don't be afraid of working through that. So let's go ahead and look at this. now. If you're working on um, like a bikini or a nude character, you're going to want to have that definition and separation between the two breasts. Although most of our characters aren't going to have that problem. Uh, most of our characters are going to be wearing a shirt, so we don't need to have as much definition and separation. The biggest thing you sort of you need to look at here is how this is going to um, sit on the body. We're going to move that out. So we're going to actually try and get uh, almost a, a teardrop shape here. Uh, we'll come and adjust these faces more later. For now we're just going to sort of smooth out the topology 
and try and get the right general idea going here. Um, we've got these two here that are coming down like that. Obviously my character is not really built for this so uh, my shoulders are more broad than probably what you will generally want with your female characters, but it's okay. For today, it's fine. No biggie. Come on. Ah. Undo. Whoops, there. Okay. So we are going to make believe here uh, from the left view. Uh, I'm going to hit F3 so I can see through and see that edge. I'm going to bring that edge down and this down. And this from the front. Zoom F3. All right, and that from the top view, this is going to be sort of the roundness. Now, once again, um, from the front, depending on how large uh, and how how much geometry you're going to need even and also how much definition you're going for if there's a large shirt if you're wearing a shirt uh, versus wearing some sort of like form-fitting garment there's going to be a lot of difference in how you build this if it's more of a nude character you're going to have to insert more geometry okay and you can do that through beveling or insetting um, insetting is probably the right way to go at this point uh, and then I can right click and then convert to vertex so I can grab all those vertices and go into relax and get that going. Uh, once again, from the front, uh, you can sort of adjust this like that. Left. Zoom. Oops. Z. I hit X instead. All right, once again, you're going to want to make sure that that's the, the curving we talked about before is happening. You want it to make sure that you're going to have more edges along the bottom so you get more of a rounded, like, once again, teardrop shape so it comes down at an angle. Once again, this isn't going to be a very long video. Um, we're just sort of going after the general idea and trying to give just tips on it. So one of the things we do want to look at is... Uh, once you have something roughly how you want it, the front, uh, this right now is the biggest problem I'm having right through here. Um, I really want this to be more of a uh, smooth geometric transition through here. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go from the front. I think I'm going to uh, take that and that and I need to figure out how I'm going to transition from the pectoral muscle as it comes out of the breast and up into the armpit and where it will sort of tuck in underneath the uh, deltoid and that right there is what I'm trying to figure out so what I'll probably do is in order to keep the topology sort of smooth through here I think I'm going to go ahead and target weld these two. Now when I do that, uh, and I may not be able to unless I hit 4, delete that, and then target weld the vertice. There we go. That gives me a qua uh, a, a five-sided poly, so an end gone. And as you know, those are bad, but it does help with my my topology problem. So now I've got smooth faces that go all the way under and through here. Um, I probably am going to want this. So now I've also got a transition from here like that into there from the front. And let's grab these. Expand it out. Actually, take the whole thing, make it a little bigger, move it over like that, and then relax a little bit. Cool. These will come out some. There. 
Now, I've got quads through there. Quads, quads, quads. Um, if you're having a hard time finding, if you have an end gone, one good way to do that is to take, actually, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to relax those first and sort of see how that looks. I think what I'm going to do is connect those. So it'll give me two triangles, which isn't perfect, um, but at least it sort of starts getting it in the right direction. Since I've connected those, uh, I'm going to need to, if I want to keep going, I could actually connect these, I think, and then I could get back to quads, target weld. There. Grab that. Geometry relax. There. All right, so now I can grab faces. Go to Selection, Numeric, Greater Than 4, click OK, and look for anything that pops up. Check my old model. All right, great. Cool. So everything's quads now, but it's still not really what I want it to be um, because I'm not super huge fan of how that's turning out from the front. I'll rotate that a bit. Move it out. That and then I can grow it. Modeling geometry, relax. So once again, you don't want it to sort of be quite so evenly uh, dispersed here. Hit F3 so I can see through it. I'm going to grab most of the bottom part and sort of bring it down like that. Oops. Grab that section from the front and move it up like that. Once again, we have the issue here where we're trying to make it more conical because it's going to be isolated more. There. F3. All right. So once you have something that you're OK with, bring that down some more. So I'm going to bring over this way some from the front. There. Once you have something that you're okay with, front should probably come up more sort of rounding it out at this point. From the top view, okay, like that. Front. Push it forward a little bit, okay. All right, once again, the, one of the main reasons we decided to do um, real people is so that we didn't have this sort of craziness when it comes to unrealistic geometry. Um, I think this will be really helpful to sort of get grounded um, and then we can take it from there. So, all right, um, once again, I think my shoulders kind of make the whole thing seem a little weird and that's okay, but there. It's sort of getting there. Okay, so the biggest part is insetting and then adjusting um, and then working on the actual transition through the geometry, through like how things are going to work. Don't be afraid if, if, you, if you feel like you need to 
sort of have more geometry that goes through um, there's nothing wrong with that to work that through especially if you want to do it through here so let's say you wanted uh, to add more geometry to this um, you could do that relatively easily uh, like that you can always you've got with this hole here where we're going to attach our arm you can always sort of split one of these in order to get rid of a try if you've got try issues um, but for now that's not bad uh, in order to sort of check your work and make sure things are looking okay which I don't know if this is actually because we should probably get a better look at it um, you need to make sure you go ahead and select everything here figure out what um, smoothing group it is in this case it's four you can sort of even that out and then you can decide oops then you can decide to look at it there okay so now what I'm going to do is render it out Let's see how it looks from a rendered perspective Okay, cool. It's not bad. Not bad. Um, to get a better angle on it, go into your modifier panel. In your modifier list, type SYM for symmetry. Um, make sure you don't have anything selected. Because if you do, it'll screw it up. There. Symmetry. Eh, it screwed it up already. I'm going to delete it. Delete that modifier. And now, select the object. Symmetry. And then, if it disappears, that means... It's probably, and you can see there's a weird little line there. I'm going to go ahead and flip it and then see that the symmetry is, is behaving properly. Now, it looks a little weird, um, especially f on me. Uh, I think if you were to look at this model and maybe bring the shoulders in a little bit, it wouldn't quite be so, I don't know, odd. Uh, another good option is also to use soft selection. Uh, you can use soft selection and then adjust the fall off a little bit so you make sure you're not getting any of your center first. Give a little more hips. And once again, for soft selection, you can do that. And then turn on render. A few. Your concept art will be better, so that will be nice. Front. Render. Now, for the front here, I'm getting a little, little ridiculous in size department. Um, it will also, another thing you need to worry about, when you work on soft selection, make sure as you work on soft selection that you don't get uh, off, you don't set your vertices off the center line because that will cause you lots of trouble later from the front. I'm going to zero out that vert. Basically, any vert that got out of line 
is going to be put back in place by just I'm basically just right clicking on the verts that are out and realigning them so that they are directly center um, because we are wearing shirts in our concept art um, and this is sort of along the same lines for most of you uh, you're gonna want to have this whole section be less defined so we can take this section all these three in the center part of the sternum and move them out quite that much. Now this may be a problem if you're having trouble with this because it's you've got this edge here that's not exactly what you want it to be uh, and you want it to be a little smoother. You can still keep that um, by going ahead and adding in geometry. So let's see this is a quad this could be a quad two, and we could go ahead and add in another line. So if you hit the number two, grab your edge that you want to split, edges, insert verts, and then it automatically selects to vert vertex. So now I can connect those, which gives me more geometry, which allows me to move these up and move that up. And then it sort of smooths out that transition keep that roughly there but all of this can sort of come forward like that so now from the top you can still have your transition you just it doesn't need to be as defined I don't want to get that too far out Once again, a lot of this is just looking at the geometry and sort of pushing and pulling it around until you get the shape that you're looking for. Be careful not to lose your line there. That's a try, and a try is okay. Uh, probably be better if it was a quad. It would definitely be better if it was a quad, but it's all right. I don't. Initially, I probably wouldn't have built this as uh, an individual breast. I would have done more of a uniboob thing where you've got, uh, instead of pull pulling out these faces and then pulling them, insetting them, I would have just extruded them and then inset them so that they were sort of evenly spaced across without the definition of having that sternum that we have now. Um, either way is fine, though. It's not like it's that big of a problem. I come back some. All right. Anyway, that's basically it. Um, the biggest takeaway is to make sure that you understand that you're going to be using. Uh, let's see. I forgot we're adding the shirt here. Um, is to just do do your best to make it as smooth a transition as possible. While keeping in mind that the pectoral muscle rides underneath the fatty deposit of the boob and sort of runs through there. Right there. All right. And then when we attach the arm, we'll do so right through there. All right. That's basically it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Um, and I will see you next time.